So do you understand everything that's happened here today? I mean, you, you, you understand that... Yes, I'm being charged. Yeah, and, and, and you understand it's two counts of first-degree murder for both of your children. You understand that? Mm-hmm. Okay. And, you know, this. I went back and I talked about, you know, the autopsy there, and that's going to... That's going to be conducted probably tomorrow. And just this, as long as they can have an open casket where their faces aren't chopped up or anything, please. Well, one of the things they have to go through and, and determine whether, in fact, this was a drowning death. And there's, they don't cut up their faces? No, no, they don't. <clears throat> but this... There may be other tests that they have to ensure. The only other reason that they might have to look at the face, that there might be other marks, is whether there was anything to do with strangulation or anything like that. Is there anything to do with that, strangulation? I didn't choke my children. You didn't choke your children. Okay. And I know you talked about when they're taking the bath, and the baths, and there's no doubt in my mind. I, I, I know that you're responsible for their, their, their deaths. But one of the things is, you know, you mentioned about how your child was in the bath, and I believe it was Serena, Sophia, Sophia was went first, and you talked about how she panicked. Well, the reason that she's panicking is you're holding her down under the water. I wasn't. She, it shows right in the videotape. She was trying to show she could float backwards, mm -hmm. and any part this ear got in the water, and she's scared of water getting in her ear. And it shows me grabbing her with my hand and pulling her up, telling her it's okay. And then I shut off the video camera and took her out of the water because she's learning well, to float. Isn't it true like you that. after you shut off the video that you pushed her down under the water? I cannot. Isn't see that what it's going to show that water's under in her lungs? I and isn't that the same thing it's going to show in the other child, in Serena? There's going to be water in the lungs because you push those children underneath the water. Isn't that what happened? You pushed them under the water. They couldn't breathe. They're looking up at you. They're saying, please help me, Mommy. And all you can see is their eyes open. And they're looking and saying, what are you doing, Mommy? They can't breathe. And all you see is air bubbles. And you hold them down long enough that they cannot breathe. And they're thinking, what are you doing, Mommy? Mommy, we love you. And now, you know, hopefully they're in a better place, but they're without their mom. But that vision that goes through your head, looking at your children, having to push them down under the water where they take in water and they can't breathe. Isn't that what happened? all the pressures on your shoulders everything else you thought they'd be in a better place if you were dead yourself and now your children and both all three of you can be united together in heaven isn't that what happened I'm not allowed to speak it without legal evidence okay. is there anything else that you want to tell me just want to make sure that they know the bruises were there beforehand. I have witnesses that can prove that those bruises so on the their bruises, heads were not. You're not responsible for no. the bruises, the drowning you are? I cannot speak until I have a legal advocate, but I will speak upon the bruises because they are witnesses, adult witnesses, who can verify those bruises were there beforehand. But you won't talk about the drowning? No, not without a legal advocate. I was told not to. 